Hey guys, uh, today I just wanted to share with you a great little program. It is the program called Video Watermark Pro. And basically, uh, over here you click on uh, Add Video and you get the browse box. So I'm going to add this video here. Go ahead and open that. Um, this program, in case you're not certain, uh, homepage is www.video hyphen watermark.com and it is uh, AO AO photo digital studio uh, copyrighted so that's uh, what we're looking at this is the professional version and uh, I really like this program I really really use it a lot um, very very cool there is only a few little things about it I would change I've already talked to and got a very quick response which is nice and impressive um, and let them know that they should make profiles so that you can save specific settings if you use the same settings a lot, which I do. Um, right now they don't have that option and you have to change uh, some of the settings each time. So um, other than that, it's really, really nice. Uh, basically, you got your video here on the left and you've got your preview window on the right. If you click on more, it will give you information about the video, the audio, um, length, bit rates, things of that nature. Um, you know, the date that it's created is incorrect. I have not set that on the camera, but that's because I don't use this camera very often. Uh, just started using it again after a few years, so ignore that, please. But uh, anyway, this is a 920 by 1080, uh, 1080p. It shot at 29.97 frames per second. The video you're looking at. And it is 427.24 megabytes as of right now. Um, we can click on this little uh, magic wand type icon here in the middle of the uh, preview window. And it gives us the ability to change brightness, contrast, saturation. Uh, we can apply a mosaic or a blur. We can sharpen, emboss, uh, noise, or do old film. And we can also rotate and you know change the uh, video orientation and we have a preview uh, option within this so that's a really cool little feature if you happen to have a need for I don't use that part I don't need that part really um, when you go into settings you can change the settings this is one of the things that needs to be added to the profile it wants to open the destination folder uh, where you save the file personally I don't want it to do that I want no action, um, so I need that to always be, you know, the case. So hopefully they'll have that save as default. Um, right now they have default, which puts it back to the default that it came with. So save as default, that's one area that needs to be improved on, and I've talked to the uh, developer about that, and they talked about the possibility of implementing these options in future releases. So that's one thing there. And then um, we go to add image. And this is what I usually use. I have a little uh, watermark here. It's very easy. You browse, find the location. You can change the size. You can change the transparency. I always change mine to 40. You can rotate it. Uh, you can use general or tile. And let me add it to the thing so you can see. Uh, general just puts it, uh, the regular image. And of course, tile, you can see it covers the entire image. Now, as I said, I use a transparency level of 40. Um, I just find that works really well for me. And it depends on, I guess, what picture you have. And I use general. And I'm going to stick that over in the top left corner. I'm going to move it over just a little. All right, so that's my little watermark. Um, I've got the preview window. You can, you can do a add key, and you can do different things with where the... Uh, the watermark actually is placed. You can have it move in the picture as the video progresses, and you can utilize you know that feature. I don't use that feature. I don't need that feature. Um, so personally, I just I skip it. Um, it really comes down to what you need. But you can do multiple images. You can do different things with it. Um, there's different things you can apply as far as uh, you know linear burn, multiply screen, light and darken. Um, it changes basically it modifies your little watermark I don't use those features either um, unnecessary for my purposes I just need this to be watermarked so 
you can do different things with this program that I'm not using it for and there's a lot of adjustment which is nice so if you want to take a look at this program I, I heavily suggest it uh, you could get the trial version um, I think it'd be worth the purchase if you know like me you're using this um, on a routine basis when you click OK you come back to the main screen your image is already set to be added to your uh, video when you hit run this is the second place where it needs to have the option to save a standard or default uh, profile setting for the video settings and the audio settings I generally don't touch those occasionally I will change the resolution to uh, da, 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 what is it? I think it's 19 no 1280 by 720 uh, it seems to be a really good resolution for YouTube videos um, other than that, I don't change anything else. I do like to keep it in the original folder or folders if you're doing uh, batch processing, which is great. And other than that, I would like to be able to save this as default. Right now, I can't do that. So that's another one of the changes I have to make every time. And the output format, I always use MP4, optimized for portable devices. It makes it really small, but it keeps the quality really really nice so generally I'll take a 500 uh, megabyte file and it'll be um, 30 to 50 megabytes somewhere in that neighborhood. I don't know exactly I can't think of the uh, an example right now but this one if we do we run this it'll process it's gonna take well it's gonna say it's gonna take a little while longer than it actually takes it bounces around up and down a little bit but uh, this thing goes fairly quickly. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a, like I said, a quick look at this little program. It's a super handy program to have. The quality is maintained. The compression is really high. And you can customize that to your specific needs. But overall, it's just a really nice program. Works really well. And, you know, you should check it out if you need to watermark and compress your videos. That's pretty much my main purpose for it. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a rundown of that, and you'll be able to see the uh, quality output because you're watching the video that uh, this was created. Okay, so thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful.